hey welcome everybody uh, into this course again uh, we will straight go to uh, cpanel and create a database uh, and we'll import that uh, database we had on localhost before and we have already exported that and we have that basically so uh, for creating a mysql database inside the online web server you need to use this databases section over here if you want to see uh, the already existing databases you can click mysql databases and if you want to actually uh, create a database you can use this mysql database wizard and you can also see your php my admin which is online and we had that offline as well here uh, but uh, online on online server we actually always take care of the security and the things like that because the local host or uh, the local service is, is only accessible by the person who is running that computer that PC but online is this whole uh, online databases are can be accessed by anyone if they try so therefore we need to take extra care of this we'll create a database over here just by clicking it It is asking uh, to create a database uh, and a new name for this database. But basically, my name for this whole cPanel or for this whole all the things or for the uh, accessing the databases, my username is already there online tu. So after the underscore, I can give another name. So that will be my shop. Or we can make it e-commerce e-commerce that's okay online tu underscore e-commerce that is the name it is saying okay this name is okay now next part we can just click next part so we'll create a user for this database just saying create a user create database users so we can create new users for this database because this is online so only one person or whoever is allowed they can access this database because this is not for everyone to access so very simply we will simply say online to you wally this is the user for this database that's fine now it is saying also create a password because this is online thing and it should be very strong password so we can use this password generator to generate a password we'll click it and we'll save this password can generate another one okay this password is okay we'll copy this password and we'll paste it inside a notepad file here so we can use this later in the connection and we'll check this I have copied this password in a safe place okay now it has been saved now we'll just click create user so this user will be uh, able to access this database I mean online tv underscore e-commerce click it that's it a database will be created and the user will be added to it sometimes it takes a little bit time every now and then and we must wait for the operation to be successful to not create database user name only because a user with that name already exists okay no problem just saying there is a user we'll say okay no problem we will use that existing user so you can see uh, online tu underscore e-commerce this is the database you can see over here and uh, basically this this is the database name that we created and it is empty because nothing is there inside is this one there is no users so we will add a user to it you can uh, scroll down and here we have some users already users you know you can see many users I have created for different projects and for different websites so we will add a user for example this is the database and we will user uh, online tu wally to this one online tu underscore wally to this database so this user will be able to access this database just will click add it will take us to this page that what can the user do inside this 
database. I said, okay, all, all the things, they, it can create, delete, index, whatsoever, all the things can be done by this user. And I'll click make changes. So, US successfully granted privileges on the database online underscore e commerce to MySQL user, this one. That's it. Very simply. We have done this thing. Now go back. And we will go back to cPanel. That is done. We we know that we have done that. Now, again, come to this databases section and go to PHP MyAdmin. This is now online PHP My uh, PHP MyAdmin, where you can see your databases. So because we have created the database, so we want to see that, and then we will import our offline database there. Just click it, and it will take a moment. So then it will open. Ragli poiro ke wasme poiro ke baad vaha chhi baad ne udi na. My God, sometimes it takes much time here. Anyways. We have to wait, so it will come. Wait, wait. Actually, today my internet connection is a bit slow, therefore, the websites are taking time. Uh, anyways, we will click again because this has taken much time. PHP my admin at online web server please be patient you will be redirected in a moment but uh, many moments have passed and it is giving a message what to do just rep I will refresh it third time I will click it so it opens that will be great for us बस कर भाई कुल जा ओके इट इज टेकिंग टाइम गाइस इट्स नॉट ओपनिंग बेसिकली सो लेट मी चेंज द इंटरनेट कनेक्शन and we'll come back to you to see uh, to check out this PHP my admin because we have created the database now we actually need to import our uh, database we have inside the e-commerce folder uh, on our computer this is the database name ecommerce.sql it has all the information that we had previously in our local on our local host we'll import that to this and then we will simply change the connections uh, or here on all the pages, I mean the functions.php and the inside the includes and in inside the main area so all the connections we have to change according to online configuration, I mean the database that we created stay tuned, I'm coming just back